it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and we're gonna do a weekend vlog this time. Just finish up the weekly vlog but I really wanted to do some football stuff so I stopped that vlog since it was an hour to start a new one. <laughs> Love to see it. I know that crazy. Hair's pulled back. I need to wash it. Um, crazy. It is what it is. Uh, but I'm here. I got my hog shirt on still. You know, put it back on today because the hogs play. In our house, we love SEC football. Let me know your favorite teams below. And uh, I really like all the SEC teams for the most part. Now, I will say, I'm not a Bama fan, but I do respect that team. They always do a good job. We are first hog fans. <laughs> and second, I usually root for Tennessee, Tennessee Balls. Because I live in Tennessee, grew up, that's what my family all rooted for. You know, and uh, I really wasn't into football or sports until I met Blake, and he has family in Arkansas. He was born in Arkansas, Little Rock, and so, you know, he grew up a Hawks fan. And so, it's kind of one of those things that when I got to meet and know him, I got into the team he was into, right? We got started cheering for the team he was cheering for, it. and um, that happens a lot, but I still do love Tennessee Balls. I think they do a great job, and, and I, I do love the song Rocky Top. It's just like home to me. Like, you know, when I was growing up, we'd always sing it. So, yeah, it's like my first and second teams right there. Um, I don't really wear any ball stuff, but, because uh, I'm not really a big orange person. But, uh, yeah, I still really enjoy watching their games. I always root for them. Now, when Arkansas plays Tennessee, I do root for Arkansas. And, you know, but otherwise, I always root for Tennessee <laughs> to win. And so, I think that's last year. We was in the SEC mode, okay, and you know what that means. We're gonna get some hot beef dip. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna. I'm going to Publix right now. I'm going to be uh, getting the Velveeta. I know it ain't good for you, honey, but we here getting the Velveeta, some hamburger meat or ground beef, <laughs> some of you call it. Um, but as I say, it, it, it's some hamburger meat. I don't know what it is. Anyway, my southern. So, what do y'all call? It? Let me know. Do you say ground beef or do you say hamburger meat? Because I do hamburger meat. All right. Um, and then some sausage, and what else? Uh, Rotel, some kind of Rotel dip. I mean, with the tortilla chips, all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to go get. I am also going to get, as you said in the video, I'm also going to go get, well, video, vlog class. I'm all over the place this morning. Um, but I, I'm also going to get some uh, stuff to make, like pumpkin cream, cold foam, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and I seen, um, a t it wasn't a TikTok. I don't have TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it was a reel, and it was, I've been seeing a ton of reels on how to make it, and so one person said use a one, two, three method. One tablespoon of syrup, two tablespoons, I don't know if they got pumpkin syrup, but whatever, two tablespoons of milk, and three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Use your frother and then you go. So that's what I'm doing. I'm probably going to buy some cold coffee. I don't normally buy that, but um, a lot of times, like, I'll use the leftover coffee after it's sitting in the pot for a while. Um, but it'll be nice to have some cold brew coffee in the event we don't have that because reasons. I just wanted to start like a weekend vlog of us watching football. I hope the hogs do good. I mean, I never know. <laughs> so, I'm a fan, but I never know. So it's okay. It's, either way, it's good. Um, I hope the balls and the hogs do good. Because, you know, what's, what's good about our two teams is if one loses, you got hope on the other one. <laughs> So, anyway, um, there's just nothing like college football for me. I don't know. I'm not an NFL person, but, yeah, we, we really like college football, especially the SEC. Speaking of sports, I'm reading, still reading, I'm a little driver three. I'm slow going today, uh, this weekend, anyway. Uh, just Don't Fall by Emma St. Clair. So, you will be getting updates on that, but it's funny. What I love about this book so far is just the humor and the characters are very easily, like, like I'm easily attached to them. And <laughs> like, I love that. I love it when you get the male and female perspective in these rom-coms. It really like, just has that layer of depth that you need. So you can see it from both point of views. Like I think when that's not there, I'm missing the other person's point of view usually. So this one does have both Parker and Logan's point of view. And it's cool because you got Parker who like knew him, knew Logan back in the day. And he ended up just like, he was, he was her brother's best friend okay back in the day and uh he pretty much just up and left you know and so they're they were all upset when he left to go play like professional hockey it sounded like i might be telling some of this wrong but it's best of my memory can break a leg uh but yeah so they were upset when he left and it's been like 10 years i want to say they were really young when he left that being that uh now he's back and he's playing for this other hockey 
league, the hockey league he's playing for is the ones that <laughs> Parker is the social media manager. And so one of her things is that they do, if, I don't know if y'all have seen that, is it Savannah Bananas, I don't know, on Instagram and TikTok probably, uh, where they, they're not really like a team, though they aren't, but like they do entertainment and dancing and stuff on the baseball field. There was a reference to them being like an influence in this book uh, for their team, but an actual official team league. So like Parker does like videos where they the, the players do dancing and all this stuff. And so that's a, one reason that they're so popular is because they trended in their viral videos. And Logan is not about to be doing no videos. He is like, I am not doing this. What are you doing? He is not he is not here for it. He doesn't want to be on social media. He doesn't want to do this. And he's kind of got some issues with his parents in the past. You know, they were not very supportive of what he wanted to do. And so, you know, that's another thing that we're have, we have going on here. But um, so, yeah, so we're just, I'm just seeing the setup of him joining this new hockey league, this new team, and getting to see um, Parker again after all these years. And how are they going to connect? I've, I've seen that it is a fake dating rom-com so uh, I can't wait to see kind of how that all plays out and everything so yeah that's the best I could do to explain it I hope I did a good job <laughs> you ever worry about how you explain a book I'm like did I miss something anyway but the humor is good and it really it really makes me laugh and I like that about the rom-com so it must say Claire's writing is just top-notch honestly like I can just tell you sorry I had to turn I didn't want my phone to fall like that last vlog you know what I'm saying <laughs> this is a bad angle what am I doing <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Publix, okay? I normally don't like going to Publix a ton because it is very expensive compared to other places, but it's the closest one, and I might look here. I'm not about to go down here, around the world to Kroger, or Food City, or any of that stuff. I'm like, I'm just going over here. So, I will be back later, y'all. I just wanted to do an introduction to this. I uh, really enjoy making videos right now, so I'm trying to, like, keep that spur of the moment. I made three videos last night. Still need to do my wrap-up video, but that'll come into mind by probably a little late this time, so... It is what it is. But I love y'all and I love y'all. We're back. We back. Ignore any background noise if I can get the tablet going. Alright. So, Arkansas game is going to start in a little bit. We got it about to go on here. And I got, y'all want to see kind of what we got? <laughs> got some sushi. I don't know if y'all like sushi, but we do. Got this at Publix. They have their little, everybody's pretty much got a sushi place now. A little section. Even Sam's. And then Blake got this one. Love to see it. Hey, hubs, he's bringing in the groceries. All right, love to see it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> got, had some bread, got stuff, because on Labor Day, my fam's coming. Brother's got to work. What? Yeah, I know. I know. Hopefully, he, he can come over in the evening. Maybe he can come over. They work in a hospital. Wednesday, we'll go to drinks. So. Ugh. But Wednesday night, we're going to try to go to Drake. After, you know, like I said, we couldn't go this last time. They were busy. We'll see. But my mom's going to come over. She was able to get off work. She also works at the hospital. They work together at the same hospital. <laughs> um, they carpool and everything. So it works out. But I, don't know, I literally put this in my purse, y'all. My brain. That's him saying he wants Pokemon. You want to tell me if you like Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse? Are you asking for Minnie and Mickey? What's going on? My kid, let's see. Watch. He, what he does is he'll bring me. Since he can't really tell me, he'll take me. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. Where is he? Hold on. What's, oh, you got Bluey on. Um. Uh, how you cut this off? Me. Where is Mickey Mouse? See? <laughs> two plays and they score. We love to see it. We love to see it. All right, y'all. Hogs done scored. We're sitting here. I'm gonna try to make it more of like a vanilla cream, like coffee. I don't know. <laughs> I ended up getting this um, vanilla syrup. Okay, the heavy whipping cream, the coffee. They said there's four servings of this, but I mean, whatever. I mean, it's still cheaper. Then I've got the white chocolate sauce. Okay. I don't really want a pumpkin one right now since I've had one yesterday. I want more of like a vanilla. So, what I've heard is, like I said earlier, we got our tablespoon. I love these little tablespoon things. Somebody got me these when we got married. Y'all, these things are cool. You talking about not being able to keep stuff together? Check it. Look. I made it. <laughs> yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go. Blades in the back. Hogs. Whoopee. Football's right. back, baby. Football that is makes back. you really want fall time. I'm trying to figure out how the best way to make it. Okay, we can use this. Uh, <laughs> me trying to be a barista is not working out. All right, I've got my little glass cup here. How about that? And oh, I need to get the ice in a minute. We'll get the ice in a minute. I think I got ice. My ice machine or my fridge is broke. Anyway, I've got some little trays. So one tablespoon of the syrup. Okay. Overthrown. Oh my God, let's go. Bruh. Bro, that's like two an hour right there, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Tablespoons of milk. Uh-oh. Spillage. <laughs> you know me, I'm gonna be making a mess. Uh, okay. Then I gotta make my hobby dip. This video is like not working out. <laughs> oh, I They're down, baby. They're down. Hubs in the bank. They're down for what? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Tennessee invented that, by the way. Yeah. Down Three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Okay. One, two, three. I'm making a mess. All right. Got my little frother. Got his Amazon ten dollars. Oh, he didn't get off, man. All right, back it up, Let's do it. Western Carolina, I don't know how long you gotta do this oh, for. Ooh, it smells good, like that vanilla. All right, let's All right we've got the, the foam. All right, let's get some ice hubs. Hubs is gonna be our test taste, okay? Let's see how this tastes. I, I need to make some more ice. I'm the guinea pig. We don't have any ice. There's one. Well, I forgot to. We don't have any ice. Okay. We got one cube. Use that one cube. cube. It's an ice cube. You got one cube. I got one little cube. Well, it's ice. You better use it. Okay. We'll use the one cube. Uh, I'm dying. I forgot. Here, let me fill it up, I guess. In a minute. You can take a minute. Um, it's cold already. It's fine. The coffee itself is cold. The so, suspense. Hurt. Yeah. All right. And I work commercial break with the game. So, is that the cold foam? Um, I yeah, but I'm gonna put some sweet and low in it because the coffee itself is unsweet, and you probably won't. Hold on, this ain't working. You probably won't like it. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. Let's mix this together. Y'all can't really see what we're doing, but I just put the coffee in here. It's cold. Mason jar, you know, southern. I think that is. Hey. What? Where's the creamer? There's no creamer in there. There's not meant to be creamer. What? I can yeah. put creamer in there. Honey, you, you should put some creamer in there. All right. Does that not call for creamer? Like just like a dab, just like a little bit. You know. He's already, wanting no creamer. But now you've already put cold foam in there. That's fine. Know. We'll mix it up anyway. All right, there you go. That's good. Yeah. All right. A little bit of creamer never hurt anything. A little bit of creamer anything. never hurt nothing. No, never hurt anything. That's what I'm saying. Then we're gonna put this. Uh, now it'll be a little sweeter. White See, that's why Amanda said it wouldn't be sweet because there's no creamer. What is that caramel? No, it's white chocolate. Okay, good. Because you know your boy. It looks like caramel, your but your boy doesn't like caramel. <laughs> he does not like Basic is good. I'll get All right. Try it. You might have to stir it. I'm not gonna stir it. Because all you're gonna get. Look. All right. Look. All you're look, gonna get. I got it. Look. I'm stirring it. Look. Cream. Is that good? Just tell me how the cream is, at least. That's good. Here, you try it. That's good. God, I can taste the vanilla. Very vanilla. So this one's not a pumpkin spice. No, like I don't have pumpkin flavored stuff. At Publix, I think that's. Mm. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's good. I like it. All right, good we're job. going with it. Good so that's what you do. I don't know if this even makes sense, but we're here. All right, I'm getting hungry. I need to eat my sushi. So I'm going to make me some coffee. Yeah, I'll be back. Good interception, boys. That's what we like to see. We love to see it. Let's see it. That's right. And oh, he knows what that mac and cheese is. He got you it. You eating it? You got that mac and you cheese. You using your bro. fork, buddy? Doing a great job. All right, y'all. So we are gonna make some coleslaw. Got the recipe right here. And I currently have for dinner tonight. We're gonna have pulled pork sandwiches. So you gotta have coleslaw, right? And I got a pork tenderloin in the crock pot. And after so many hours, I'll shred it up. Barbecue sauce, the whole thing. So, but I want to go ahead and make my coleslaw so it can sit in there and like be really, really, really cold. This says we're gonna take that bag. We're gonna do half a cup of mayonnaise. Well, I got this light mayonnaise. Okay, eyeballing it. Take like a tablespoon of lemon juice, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Put that there. Okay. It says a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Well, we're gonna eyeball it, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay. Yes. Who knows? We could do that and it comes out faster. I don't know if y'all knew that. <laughs> Alright, that good. And then sugar. So it's a teaspoon of that. Alright. Sugar. In here. Hot dog. Alright. Now y'all can see my bowl down here. What is this? This is basically just me cooking and I ain't reading. Start down. Come on, hogs. The hubs. Come on. Shut them out. Shut them out. Yeah, boy. We like to see. We like to see it. Arkansas, these penalties are killing me. All right. So mix it all together so it kind of looks like this. You done. It's good. I like it, especially like a pulled pork sandwich, it's pretty good. So, I like a mayonnaise based slaw. I'm not a big vinegar base, but it does have a little bit of apple cider vinegar, but it's mostly a mayonnaise. So, got that, clean that up. And, uh, yeah. Then we're gonna make this Rotel dip just to have over here. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit better. All right, now we're over here, and I'm going to make the Rotel dip. All right, and it's easy. Easy as I'll get out, which y'all probably have all made it, I'm sure, at some point. I no cook by any means, so let me just say. But, I have some recipes online, so we're excited. Y'all can't see me. <laughs> this is my ninja cooker, and then this is my crock pot. Alright, and the uh, ninja cooker has like a stove top, setting, steam, bake, slow cook, the whole thing. So, anyway, I've got this whole thing. A bad for you cheese called Velveeta. <laughs> and we're gonna put the whole thing in there, okay? And uh, I'll be back. All right, y'all. So for the hot beef dip, here we are. I have got my sausage and my hamburger. We're gonna be rounding that up, son. Okay. And then got the rotel, all right, and the uh, bad for you cheese Velveeta in the crock pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, just put all that in there while that's warming up. Let that be melting. Okay. I don't know if I needed two cans of rotel, but we did. Uh, <laughs> and uh, now, I'm just going to brown this up. And let it sit in there for a little bit. Hey, y'all. Me over here doing a bad job of vlogging. Because I didn't tell you if Arkansas won the game. Or Tennessee. They both won their games. We love to see that. So, we were happy that night. And then, I didn't even show you our final meal. So, anyway. <laughs> my bad. But, we had really good pulled pork um, sandwiches and we ate them the next day so they made good leftovers and the coleslaw was good and then the Velveeta cheese and everything mixed together all good had good leftovers chips and dip it was a really good evening so my bad anyway I today's Labor Day and we are just working through uh, laundry I'm in laundry right now so I'm about to finish in some towels here y'all uh, actually I already put in here what am I doing and um my fam's coming over here in a little bit. Clip I made earlier that I want to include next. Hey y'all. All right, so it's been a while since I've updated this vlog. I've been working on videos all weekend. Have I read much? Hardly at all. No surprise. But at least I've got videos scheduled out pretty much for the next two or three weeks. We love to see it. So working on that since I'm gonna be busy and you'll see all kinds of different videos come out. Let me know anything you wanna see specifically. I asked a little bit on Instagram for some stuff. One person had asked for um, historical romance recommendations. I do have a video I made last year. I will link that below for anyone interested of historical fiction and historical romance Christian recommendations. But I could make an updated one, of course, uh, all the books I've read this year. So definitely could make an updated one as well. And um, there's just been several great ideas of things. So I need to like kind of take all that brainstorm. But yeah, in the next couple weeks, you'll see like a Christian fantasy recommendations video, a uh, decorate my shelves for fall, fall book recommendations, fall TBR. There's several things I have filmed this weekend, very short under 20 minute videos, just so I could get some things out for you guys. And uh, in the meantime, I'll probably do like a weekend vlog this next weekend to add in with that, just space some things out. But that way I don't have to worry about filming this next month with everything going on that's so busy. But I want to, today's Labor Day, we're off work, and I hope you all have had a great Labor Day weekend with friends and family. My family's coming over here in a little bit. We're gonna cook out some burgers and stuff. Went to Sam's this morning, all that. But um, I don't think there's going to be much more for me to update in this vlog, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing for my pumpkin 
I guess pumpkin cream or whatever since that last clip I think I don't remember what the last clip was to be honest with y'all but whenever I updated for the coffee I was doing like a vanilla you know but oh this ain't what am I doing what I have been doing is taking some just pumpkin creamer plus heavy whipping cream and mix it up my frother plus some pumpkin spice actual spice I don't know where my spice is at so we ain't gonna put that in here today but um just taking all of that I've got my coffee my cold coffee from Starbucks and I actually really like this one it wasn't sometimes Starbucks coffee tastes kind of burnt but this one didn't I thought it was good so it's the blonde I think I already showed it once but um anyway it is unsweetened so I didn't add sweet and low but let's get that frother all right found my little frother thing I'm just gonna mix it all together and I didn't tell you all the time I did this I did it for like maybe a minute to two minutes just whenever it gets thick enough all right it makes a lot in here. all right that's it that's it so then I get my little straw if I got a straw anywhere I don't know if it's clean I'm gonna go pull my straw from my cup because I don't have one I'm just gonna mix it together a little bit we love to see it This is legit. <laughs> love to see it. Okay, I love that. <coughs> All right. And then I got this leftover. I guess I'll make Blake so. Anyway, so that's my little pumpkin update. So I can save a little bit of money on the starbs. You know what I'm saying? But have some of that pumpkin taste. It's not bad. So anyway, uh, for reading updates, I am still reading just, well, that didn't help. I'm still reading Just Don't Fall by Emma St. Clair. Have I finished a book yet in these four days over the weekend? Have not. I am literally only like 25% in this, so I'm probably not going to finish it for this vlog, but it is funny. I'm laughing. I love her writing. Same thoughts as I had before, and we're just now getting into the fake dating stuff, and I love that they like knew each other before, and there's like this, just this tension between them now. And where she has to like work with him as a social media manager you know she's like managing all this stuff and she just said okay this whole thing comes up because her dad has this gala <laughs> come up and all this stuff and wants her to date this guy at the gala and she's like no i'm actually bringing logan and she like lies about it and then she so she just had to tell logan look um i won't post you on social media as much if you just uh go on this date with me <laughs> And then he like lay up that and hadn't said nothing about it. So I need to know. That's where I left off. So yeah, I'm really liking it. That's it for me. I'll update y'all later. Oh, hey y'all, I'm about to cut up a couple onions. We are cooking. Okay, cooking on the grill. The hub's over here doing all the cooking. We love to see it. But real quick, I'm gonna tell y'all. I know I said what I was reading currently, but the rest of the week, my reading plans are to keep diving into Hosanna Wong's book from that last uh, vlog that you guys saw. I absolutely love this Christian nonfiction. I cannot wait to see more of what she has to say. I think I'm gonna get a lot, a lot out of it. And Tony Shiloh's new book, You Make It Feel Like Christmas, comes out. This is a short book, so it's only like 180 something pages. Again, I'm still not in the Christmas mood, but I'm gonna try, okay? Tony Shiloh has great writing, so I'm excited about this book either way. So I love the cover, by the way. Isn't that gorgeous? So really excited to dive into this. It releases on the 5th, which is tomorrow. So make sure that if you want to read this for Christmas, you get your order in. Baker Bookhouse is the way to go. Then, truth is a whisper, Mandy Blake. This is that cowboy romance. We love to say it. I cannot wait to read this. Christian cowboy romance. This is about 340 something pages. So this will be next on my list as well. So those are kind of my next anticipated reads for now. It's always subject to change, ain't it? So um, anyway. I'm gonna talk to y'all while I cut up this onion. We're waiting on my, my brother just got off work. So he's heading here, it's about an hour out. So he'll be here probably at six o'clock, it's five right now. So Blake's got some hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill, all the good things. We'll make sure you get some meat visual, okay? <laughs> Wait, I wanted to chat again about some video ideas that are coming up. So I think I am gonna do like a biblical fiction recommendation for the ones that I have read so far. So I already got the books pulled out for it. I actually think I might film that this week this weekend or something uh where it would come out towards the end of the month um whenever i'm on my conference so those will probably come out then and a general historical fiction um recommendations video as well so um yeah i kind of taken some of the graphics that i've done on instagram and uh, which i say this in my christian fantasy recommendations video but kind of taking some of the graphics I've been on Instagram for book recs and turning them into video form so I can have some book recommendations videos um that are like short sweet 
you know, most of y'all know about the books I talk about anyway, but sometimes I like to remind y'all, okay, it's been a while since I've uh, chatted about some of the books in the videos, so, um, and I'm kind of a novice on Christian fantasy anyway, so, um, but I'll, I'll, I at least want to, like, share the ones I have enjoyed so far, so that's all I wanted to chat about for just a minute, and I'll show you guys, I'm making these onions for the hot dogs, okay, uh, but then I'll show you guys here in just a minute what we're cooking. All right, Hubs, what we got? Hey, we got burgers, we got yeah. hot dogs. The hot dogs are splitting, but. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> they all eat the same, don't they? I mean. We got a little food fog. Yeah. Labor Day food, we'll go to see it. All right, y'all, we got chips. Hey, there's dip in there, by the way. Uh, burgers. In case you're wondering, no one took a bite out of that. I just cut it. <laughs> <every day. laughs> so if you're wondering, no one took a bite out of that. Uh, hot dogs, the fixings. Oh, so I would love to see hey y'all. All right, this is the end clip for the vlog. And I know this was like chaotic, <laughs> a bit like a mishmash of things. Lots of food and random updates, but we're here. So, hope you enjoyed what, what this was. <laughs> Just let me know down below your favorite things to cook uh, for Labor Day, the holidays, all of that good stuff. Uh, we just love to cook out burgers, hot dogs, you know, the general things that people make. I will say I'm 37% in now of Just Don't Fall and things are getting good. So, we're about to get into all of the details of the fake dating and I'm here for it. So, it's probably going to take me another couple days to get through this. I have a very busy day at work tomorrow. So, um, maybe late tomorrow night I'll be able to get some more reading in. Maybe tonight a little bit before bed. I don't know. Probably not. I'm just so busy this week. So, we'll just see where the reading takes me for the week. And I will try to do a reading vlog this weekend. Uh, just doing some quick updates of where I get to. But again, like I said, who knows what's going to happen, okay? We, busy, busy time. But I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.